Today is legs day, or at least squats day. Let's destroy them as hard as we can. Really important. That's even more important. Drink more water, guys. Please. Seems like I cannot go this way, I would go another way. Those shoes may not be great for running, but for working out, it does great. It's pretty dark down there. Okay, so let's start doing this. Okay, so what I will go for for this summer because I want my workouts to be quick and efficient. I will do like supersets. If you guys don't know that, that's that's basically doing two exercises without a rest time between them and doing this as a set. So for example, I'm gonna start doing I think leg extension and squats. I will go leg extension. Right after that, squats, and that will count one set. That way, the, um, the workouts will be quicker and more intense, and that's what I want. Okay, so superset one is done. I'm already all sweaty. Superset number two, I think will be this thing. So press, and after that I will do lunges. I don't like lunges because before I was overweight and that was really complicated to, to me for, for me to doing that. Now I think I can do some but that's still not the, the, exer the exercise I like the most. After that, I think I will do the calves because it's important to train them. And I will do some plank and then we'll come back to home and I will also start to really organize what videos I'm gonna put on the week because I want to put vlogs and other types of video. If you watch my other series on YouTube that I'm gonna rename, but anyway, if you watch those series, I'm gonna continue to do videos on them, but I need also to do vlog as much as I can. So I'm gonna try to set everything, to schedule everything so it would be easier for me to deliver you more content. So the legs are done, now this is time for doing the calves. I maybe do, I will do just one exercise. Again, at the press, just incline this more this way. And <clears throat> that will do the work, I will just change the angle after each set. And we'll be all right after that plank and we'll go. This one is done. Let's do some plank. Okay, I'm done with this. Going back home. That's it's super hot and sunny right there. Today I really want to do something which will be pretty interesting is to organize the way I'm gonna deliver content to YouTube because I really want to dive deep into this platform. I think there is a lot of potential to create a really engaged audience and to redistribute the content to all the other platforms. 
Because let's face it, YouTube is a pretty big thing. It has really grown over the, the last decade and there is a lot of content already down there. But what is the thing that can differentiate me or other creators like maybe you from all this content that is already out there? I think you have to be yourself, bring some originality and create the best piece of content you possibly can. But with a high frequency. Let me explain. YouTube is a different platform because if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you maybe saw that the content you are posting is temporary. It works for a limited of time. Maybe after two, maximum three days, your piece of content won't get you as much likes, comments, and engagement in general as when you posted it. S YouTube is different. You put a video and then it kind of stay there and grow over time. I think we can say that a YouTube video is kind of like, it's like an asset. You put it and it grows over time. So technically, if you have more assets and more qualities, more quality assets, excuse me, that's easier to grow your wealth, which is in YouTube, your account, if you can say that, your brand. That's why the point I want to make is that you should not only post great videos, but also more videos in general. That's why I'm thinking about doing one video a day, but different kind of videos. A few are going through my mind right now, which are the series I've done in the past, which are reverse engineering your success and and the SMBV show, which I maybe I will maybe change their names to rebrand them, rebrand them into something that which is more appealing. But anyway, I want to deliver at least one videos per week for those two series per week, and also do kind of daily daily vlog. So I need to try to organize everything and to really know where I'm gonna or at least when I'm gonna post a certain type of video and all that. I was thinking about doing something like this. This will be my week. I think it will be something like this. If you can see, like, I want to post as many vlogs as possible, but I think I'm not able to post two videos per day for now, even if in the future I may be. But for now, it's too much for me. Damn. So, I want to post at least two videos for, for each show, or at least one video per show per week at least. So I decided to post at Thursday and Saturday because I've done my research a bit and so that the best day to upload on YouTube was, in general, Thursday and Friday. So, I thought, and Saturday is like the peak also, I thought that it was better to put something which is more motivational, more like, you need to implement this skill to your life to improve that in the middle of the week. Because if I thought like this, maybe it's wrong, I may figure that out later, but maybe if you are like in the weekend and you are chilling, you have less chance to like trying to improve yourself. That's why I decided to, to do like this and maybe show more in the weekend. That way people are, are, have more time and they are in general on their phone. That way if they can snap a quick tip that I gave to them just like the weekend, they may be, the chances for them to apply it, I think, may be higher. But we'll test it out after a few months. I like to change things all the time, if they're not working. So okay, I pretty much have the schedule now. I think I'm good with it. But now there's another problem, which is when to do all of that, because the problem of recording the video, recording the video is not the most the bigger, the biggest problem. The biggest problem I think is editing. Editing is something that is really repetitive and takes a lot of time. But the pros that, because it is 
repetitive, you can learn to do it and it's pretty much the same thing. So you can put, how do we say that, presets and kind of learn really quickly how to do it more rapidly. And that's something I've learned to do because I was, I needed to do it because it took me too much time. If you want to like boost your efficiency and make one of your process that you are doing daily quicker, I think the best way to, to do that is to first do it over and over again. The more you will do it, the quicker it will be. And if you're in the case of like editing like me in Premiere Pro, in Photoshop or anything, making presets will save you an incredible amount of time. Trust me. By taking the habit of getting quicker and quicker at editing and doing presets, I pretty much went from around three to four hours of editing to 45 minutes to an hour, which is a pretty great amount of time. So now I think I'm got, I've got, because it is something which is really repetitive, I mean, I will do a video I will edit at least a video pretty much every day. So I need to like block um, a time, which I need to figure figure out, of course, to edit those videos. I think two hours is great, but I need to, to think about it a bit. Okay, so what I will do is that I will put the, um, all the things that are pretty much that I need to do in a day which are like working or going to school because I need also this plan, this strategy to work when I'm at school and put all the things that I'm, I need to do. And after that, I will try to see where I can put those two hours of editing. Okay, so I've done better graphs than that. But anyway, this time is the least amount of time I need to sleep from, I think, 23 or 11 p.m. to 6 or 5 it can be fine sometimes but I need those hours of sleep at a bare minimum then I put a family time because I need to spend at least time with friends family or whatever I need those hours the two lines that you see is in, in two situation that's the first one is like the situation I'm in right now which is the case where I'm pretty much working uh, really early, but only in the morning uh, at a maximum. I will stop working at 1 p.m., but in general, that's around noon or at 11 a.m. The only time I thought that would be available for me to do this editing work is from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Two hours, if I really want to be efficient, is enough for me. That's mean I'm gonna have to be really much fast. I'm, I've got to be faster with everything I do to try to make to make this thing take the least time possible for me because I don't want to take it for hours. And I know that if I f like put a time I need to do, which will be between nine and eleven p.m. If I really dive into it deeply i can do it yeah that's a process i will be going through to do those videos and i hope it helped you in any way if you like struggle to organize your video strategy your content strategy i think the next thing i will talk about tomorrow what day are we i don't even remember oh okay so i will try to deliver this this schedule from saturday so saturday we'll see the next episode of the SMBB show. After that, I will try to, to, yeah, to stay consistent to this schedule because I cannot do the episode of Reverse Engineer Your Success for tomorrow, for now. I already have this vlog. So I hope it helped you to do your content strategy. I will do the next video. So tomorrow's vlog may be about how I will distribute, distribute that content over all the platforms I have. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next one.